Welcome back to the Nissan Nismo Insider. I'm James Moffat and today we're going to take a closer look at our in-house 3D printing centre, thanks to Evoke 3D. At the start of the 2014 season, Evoke 3D moved into the Nissan Motorsport race shop, right next to our sticker department. These guys at Evoke 3D run their own 3D printing services from within our facility, which is a huge bonus for us because it allows our race engineers to utilise the ProJet Professional 3D printers to build bespoke parts. Many of the 3D printed items appear in our Nissan Altima V8 supercars, including components on the driver's cooling system and various other components throughout the car. Our team also uses the printers to create components for research and development purposes before we launch into full-scale production. Now that I'm in charge of the Nissan Nismo Insiders for a while, we're taking a bit more of a relaxed approach to the episodes. And uh, I've got Perry Kappa, who is Chief Designer and also Race Engineer for Todd Kelly here at Nissan Motorsport. And uh, Pez, just run us through, I guess, how Evoke 3D assists Nissan Motorsport. Well, I guess um, the critical thing is for us um, that the capability to be able to produce parts really quickly to check their fitment on a car and and then continue with the actual manufacturing process and then there's also actual parts that we produce go on the car so um, like your driver cooling system for instance so um, it's a fantastic partnership and um, it gives us a, uh, a multitude of um, capabilities from uh, real really quickly producing parts that we need. I'm here with Joe Carmody, Managing Director of Evoke 3D. And Joe, we've got your machines behind us, but can you actually tell us what they do? Certainly. Uh, so 3D printing is more than just prototyping. Uh, it's also a form of digital manufacturing. And different machines do different things. So we've got a, a range of technologies here. Uh, we've got the uh, Project 660 from 3D Systems, which is excellent for concept modelling. It's fast, relatively low cost able to build large accurate models quickly and then we've also got a project 3500 which is a plastic machine very high precision high detail and suitable for functional use so depending on the particular application and whereabouts within the product development process we apply different technologies Perry give us an example of some parts that you actually print with the Evoke 3D printer that are actually on the race car. Well, we've got um, we've got two parts here. We've got a, uh, a fan housing, uh, which which is um, quite simply we needed we needed uh, a fan that would do two purposes. So it's got an inbuilt uh, switch and everything. So it comes out of the machine fully assembled. Obviously, apart from the fan and the motor, but something like that is um, a part that you couldn't you couldn't create any other way. So. Um, then, then that's a functional part that we put in the car. And um, another example is this ram tube or trumpet, uh, more commonly known for the intake system. Um, that's, that's a part that we can use. We've produced one of these and um, dyno test or uh, test different configurations of bell mouth and, and um, so on. Besides producing parts for us at Nissan Motorsport, what are some of the other things that uh, Evoke 3D can produce? Yes, so the thing with 3D printing is it's about low to medium volume, bespoke parts. So that applies to many different industries. Uh, obviously motorsport where you're, you're looking for a competitive edge and you need to develop cutting edge products, uh, usually in a, in a tight time frame, is a good application. Another industry is, is medical and medical is a, is a huge uh, a huge market because every every person's different every case is different and the models need to be customized to the individual uh, education another another big application kids today that are coming through school can see that this is going to be a major part of the landscape in their professional careers there's lighter applications too um, my little boy he's three he comes up and says daddy can you print me a rocket please For more on Nissan Motorsport, check out our website. And if you missed myself and Caruso's first episode of Up on the Wheel from Queensland Raceway, click this link.